Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I've been seeing people kind of shit on John Jones for not taking the Aspinall fight. Not necessarily that the fight's been off or anything like that, but they're like, oh, don't fight Miocic, uh, fight Tom Aspinall. This is what you guys have to understand. For one, whether you guys like John Jones or not, he's the greatest fighter in UFC history. It's not even close. It's not even close. Because he fights at a higher weight class. DJ's incredible. But John Jones fights at a different weight class. The margin for error is about this fucking much. It's almost nothing. So, again, I've, I've been seeing a lot of people be like, Yeah, man, man don't fight Miocic. He's 42 years old. Okay, but in the history books, Miocic, in the history books, is the most uh, a decorated heavyweight in UFC history. So, John Jones isn't caring about fighting the 42 year old that's not what it's about because if john jones retires and he's in heavyweight he's not going to be go down in heavyweight as the greatest of all time now it would be one thing if john jones destroyed Stipe, which he's going to Stipe has zero chance in that fight uh you know then john be like yeah i don't want to really want to fight tom aspinall that's a different conversation He's not wanting to fight Stipe Miocic. He's wanting to fight the Stipe in the books that ha is is named in the book UFC Hall of in the UFC books, not Hall of Fame, but books is the greatest UFC heavyweight of all time. I understand people being upset and like, oh, well, Stipe is 42 years old. It's, he's a bag of bones, really. He's not really going to do anything. No one wants to see that fight. You're not looking at it like John's looking at it. If if Stipe wasn't in the books at all, if Stipe wasn't recognized as the greatest heavyweight of all time, which I disagree, but in the books he is, then John Jones wouldn't have want anything to do with him. He wants something to do with him because the UFC's been like, this is the greatest heavyweight of all time. This is the guy that's defended the belt more than anybody. That's what John Jones wants. Stop looking at it as Stipe is the guy that John wants to fight. No, 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 no. John wants to fight the guy they put in the history books as the greatest heavyweight of all time. Does it suck that Stipe's 42? Guess what, guys? I don't care if Stipe Biocic was in his 20s. There's no version of Stipe that beats John Jones. None. Zero. No Stipe beats John Jones. Sorry to tell you. If anything, Stipe is lucky that John has put on weight to get to heavyweight. Because you know who beats Stipe even worse? A light heavyweight version of John Jones. That's the reality. That's how I look at this when I see John Jones saying, I'm fighting this guy. I'm not changing everything that I've done to prepare, to prepare for this guy. Tom Aspinall better get on his fucking knees and beg John Jones for a fight. Because guess what? John Jones being in heavyweight, he's still the greatest fighter of all time. Tom uh, Aspinall needs to step a fucking side and realize that he, if he has the opportunity to fight John, then he has the opportunity. If he doesn't, then you don't. John Jones owes nobody anything. We're not talking about John Jones as a person. Because we all can have our own opinion on that. Whatever. Fine. But John Jones as a fighter? Come on. Come on. We got to stop saying, oh, John Jones has to fight Tom or vacate the bell. The fuck are you to tell the greatest fighter of all time that he has to fight the guy who hasn't to do, does not deserve to fight for a title? I don't give a shit that he beat. Sergey Pavlich. Because guess what? Guess who he hasn't fought? Guess who he hasn't fought? Anybody. Oh, he beat Sergey Pavlich on, on a couple weeks notice. Sergey Pavlich is not that good. Let's get that very clear. He hasn't rematched Curtis Blades. He hasn't fought Cyril Gaon. I know Cyril Gaon said he doesn't want to fight him because he's a scared little pussy. Yeah, I get that. Fine. Hasn't fought Tai Tuivasa. Well, okay, fine. Maybe he doesn't deserve it. Sure, whatever. Hasn't fought Derek Lewis. He's fought nobody. Literally, he has fought 
zero people zero people let's 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 look J just to just to talk about it he's 14 and 3 okay he's 7 and 1 in the UFC which was the Curtis Blades fight okay so he beat Volkov Volkov's not great Pavlich yeah he's highly ranked but who has he beaten oh he beat Derek Lewis weird stoppage oh he beat Taito Avas who was knocked out three months before okay okay Oh, he beat Tybora. All right, sure, whatever. Spivak, not great. Arlovsky, not great. So, you're telling me, being Sergei Pavlich, everyone's like, all right, he's champion. That's the guy. That's the guy. Let's look at let's look at these these uh, heavyweight rankings for a second. Okay, Pavlich is three, which is ridiculous. Volkov is six. All right, he's actually looked better since fighting Tom Aspinall. Let's let's look, let's look. So, before he lost to Tom Aspinall, he beat Tybora, lost to Gan, beat Overeem Harris. Harris is trash, and lost to Curtis Blades. So before losing to Tom Aspinall, he was three and two in his last five. Three and two. Since beating him, he's three and zero. Oh, Three finishes. All right, you haven't fought Ro Rosenstrike. Okay, so here we go. So you beat Pavlich, who's three, who's fought nobody. Weird, weird fights there. Um, fight uh, fought Volkov, who's not been great on the ground, who's three and two in his last five fights. Fighting Tom Aspinall. All right, Tybora, who's eight, who's never been good against big, heavy-handed uh, strikers. Sure. Okay. Cool. And who next? Curtis Blades is somewhere in here, I would assume. Yeah, Curtis Blades is number two, which, again, the fight did not even go. It didn't even start. To sit here and say John Jones needs to fight Tom Aspinall or give up his title is the most casual fan thing that you possibly could say. Because it doesn't work like that. If John Jones wants to come back and fight Stipe and then call it quits, he gets that right. Now, if they decided still not to give Tom a title shot, then that's a little fucked up. Sure. But don't say John Jones does. He, he owes Tom Aspinall a fight. That's ridiculous and not even close to being true. That's the reality. So, now again, I think he destroys Stipe. Now, if John still doesn't fight time after the Stipe fight, sure. He needs to fight him. I agree with that. He should fight him. But also, if he's talking about fighting Alex Pereira, who's a more dangerous striker than Tom Aspinall because he's more well-rounded than Tom Aspinall... Even though I think he beats Tom and he beats Alex. But who's the better striker? The only reason why Tom Aspinall would be a slightly more dangerous striker is because he's a heavyweight. Alex Pereira, technically, is a better striker. Now, I think he takes both those guys down and mauls them. M mauls them. Come at me. Come at me. Let's talk about it in the comment section. But again, John Jones don't, don't, doesn't owe nobody shit. Stop being an angry fan that he wants to fight the greatest heavyweight of all time. Shouldn't have put him in the books then. He wants that legacy fight at heavyweight. It'd be the same thing if you went back down to light heavyweight. You guess who he'd be fighting? Pereira. You guys want to be complaining then. Would not be complaining then. So, you guys are going to, some of you guys are going to be upset about it. Some of you guys are going to understand <coughs> what I'm talking about. But as always guys, subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you guys in the comment section. Some of you're going to be furious. Peace.